Well, here we are again with the Italian Vetterly 1870-87-15, an infamous gun where on CNR Arsenal they blew up not one but two. So, are they safe to shoot? I've discussed this head in videos. Basically, you understand the weapon, have the weapon inspected. I'm not telling you that every single one of these things is safe to shoot. You don't know what somebody has done to this gun in the past hundred years. These things were sold as wall decorations, lamps, and there are all of us that build a gun from an assemblage of parts, which could lead to a dangerous situation. This is where, as a collector, or just anyone with common sense, uh, should check the weapon out thoroughly. Another thing, using, uh, you know, factory ammo, there are some people out there to do it. There's guys that made video where they just take PPU ammo and shoot it in here. Of course, it is a smaller diameter bullet and that will create less pressure in this weapon. Uh, firing a jacketed bullet in this with a full power charge, even though the 6.5 Carcano is not that powerful of a weapon, I think 45,000 PSI or something like that is what it uh, generates as compared to something in the high 50s like a 30 out 6 or a 308. Um, if you just reload a cast bullet with a light load, you're in. Okay. I know a lot of people, well, I don't want to do that. That's too much trouble. Well, then you're going to miss out on the fun. I shoot one of these. Trigger is <laughs> this ain't no sporting rifle. Yeah, you, you say a trigger. This one always seems to screw up a little. Yeah. There you go. Without a hitch. And once you figure out <coughs> where the gun is shooting, uh, they're fairly accurate. And that is two wall holes. I mean, once you once you calculate and get your distance down in that, uh, they're an accurate, fun shooting gun. Okay, I was out doing some bullet development uh, work, and I had the chronograph set up. So here's an idea of what uh, the shots, uh, the 6.5 Carcano cast bullet in the Vetterly rifle. Okay, standard deviation 33107. Uh, so those are the numbers going about 14 to 1500 feet per second. Now, one clip. Aiming from the same position, one six round mag did this group and that one flyer. After seeing that, I put another six round clip in and tried floating the sight, moving it over and was not too successful. I kept, because I had to raise it up, it was, that was at the very bottom of the notch when I just tried raising it up in the notch and moving over a little, as you see it uh, 
kind of didn't work out. I, I couldn't maintain it. So even though that second group spread out, if you focus and that it might not be where you're shooting, but this is the group that that gun produced, okay, with the same sight picture, one flyer. So the guns are accurate, it's just once you get accurate ammunition, you have to learn how to shoot the gun, and it's not that easy to do, to float them sights and use Kentucky windage and that. They're, they're not that simple of a gun to get used to. But the accuracy, this kind of proves it, the accuracy is there.